What is happening YouTube? Thanks for tuning back into the channel right here with the Rust Belt Mechanic. We've got right here a nice another set of our Rust Belt's nifty tools. This episode we're going to feature four really cool tools that I found were really helpful to me this week and hopefully they will be to you too. So the first tool that we're going to come to today comes from AutoDirect, and this is going to be from a little place on Amazon. This tool is going to run you about $14.99. It's going to be for you guys who are doing oil changes on the regular, especially for the Cummins and diesel oil changes. The oil filters on the 2017 and newer Cummins, they made it quite difficult for you. It's a pain in the butt. Instead of being able to just vertically drop the oil filter right out of place, they put this big stupid catch thing in the way and you can't get it out. So what do you have to do? You have to go through the wheel well to pull it out. But you cannot just pull the oil filter out in the upright position. It has to be tilted over. What happens there? You just dumped out a quart and a half of diesel oil all over the suspension and the tire and everything else in the wheel well. It's a pain in the butt. So what do they come out with? And this is uh, just one company of quite a plethora of them that made this. It is able to thread right into the oil filter tighten down so then you can grab it and pull the oil filter out of the fender well nice and easy without spilling a drop of oil. It saved me a bunch of time and it's going to save your shop a bunch of money in cleaning up in brake cleaner and whatever time it takes to clean up that giant oil mess. The $14.99 that this tool offers is going to save you guys a lot of money in the long run. I would definitely recommend it. The next tool on our nifty tools list comes from Matco. It's going to be part number PCP42480. This is going to be a trim clip plier and it's going to be for getting in the areas right around the hood usually is what I use this one for and getting those two part trim clips out. Now why I say that these are a really nifty one is they are not the cheapest ones on the market. These run right around 32 bucks, right around there from Matco, and they are actually ones that are gonna hold up. I've tried quite a few different ones out. The cheaper ones that are like five, six bucks on Amazon. By the time I get to using them on some of the more crusty vehicles, those trim clips actually cause these to bend the handles. This is the one that I've come up with so far that has not been any of the handles and it was actually a pretty decent price. I've looked at a couple of other ones, snap-on ones, that were about $10, $15 more. So for the price, I thought these were awesome. They're able to get in under the heads of the clips, squeeze it, spread the clips apart without having to pry on any other outside surface. So you're not really going to be scratching up any paint. You're not prying against any other plastic, possibly damaging it. You're right between the two pieces of the clips that you're trying to pry out. It's going to be a really good tool. It's going to hold up, not going to bend and break, and it's going to make a really good tool for you guys to use in your shop as well. Third on the list, we're going to come to the Snap-on Torch 300. Now I've had a chance to check out a couple of these different torches. The Torch 300 and the Torch 400 is the next size up as well. That one was just a little bit too much overkill for what I use it for. Inside, underneath dashes, doing some wiring, some soldering work. This just fit the bill perfectly. It does have a nice up and down to where you can adjust the output of the butane of it. It is a butane torch. The uh, selector right here, you're able to just see how much you've got inside the system. Butane fill is right here on the bottom. I do like that it has a really nice big footprint. So if you're soldering and you need to just set it down, it's able to set there. No muss and it's not going to be falling over lighting things on fire, which wouldn't be very fun for you. The heat range on this one is really nice. It's able to heat up solder, heat up shrink tube in a really small amount of time. It's able to get into tight places and I like that it has a locking feature right here on the back. You're able to light up the torch and then it stayed locked in place on until you hit the unlock button on the back to which time it will shut off. It's a really nice efficient gun and it's actually on sale right now over at Snap-on for $64.80. It made it into my toolbox and for the price, I think it should make it into what to yours as well. 
Now, as a pet peeve, one of my biggest concerns in the shop is when I come in to work on a vehicle, and especially when I'm working on the fan clutch of the front of a rear wheel drive vehicle, I go to take this fan clutch off, and it looks like somebody's taken a long chisel, a hammer, and just pounded the crap out of it to try to get this thing off. That just drives me nuts. You guys need to get the correct tool to do it, and this is that one. This is the Lyle part number 43300 pneumatic fan clutch wrench set. This is gonna be a seven piece wrench set that's gonna be used in conjunction with your pneumatic air hammer. It's gonna do lock right into place with your clutch, and then these are gonna go right onto your fan clutch nut hub, and then you're gonna be able to use the leverage from this to unhook and loosen your fan clutch instead of just taking an air chisel and pounding the crap out of it. You're gonna be able to use this both directions. The one that you're gonna use most often is gonna be your 36 millimeter. Actually, I don't think I've even touched the other ones in this set before. This is pretty much the only one. It's a really great tool to use and it actually is a really good price also. For what you get for this one, at $116, it's a fantastic buy for not having to really mess up somebody's vehicle. Instead of having a pissed off customer, why not just use the correct tool and get the job done right? This is the tool to do that. And in keeping in good form of shouting out some channels that I think are good up and coming ones for you guys to check out. The best one from this week is gonna be Junk From Work. He's a smaller YouTube channel of about 520 subscribers. He's very well spoken. He does really great videos. He does tool builds. He does builds in his garage. He's going to do some uh, meters, some test leads. He actually knows how to use an oscilloscope. So giving you guys some know-how on some electronics, just some in general things that he does in his garage. He's a really good channel for you guys to check out. So make sure you go and give him a follow and maybe you guys could be on the next one. Make sure you guys keep up with your uh, good content and keep regular on those videos. I'm checking out all kinds of smaller channels here and there, so just keep it up, guys. You guys can make it on here as well. Well, that's about all I have for you guys today for Rust Belt's Nifty Tools of the Week. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and videos like it. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you turn on that bell notification so you get notified when I come out with cool new videos like this one. Go and check out my Instagram account. I've been coming out with some really cool new additions throughout the week. If you guys want to follow me throughout my work week here, I post a lot of pictures just in general of me around the shop and what I find. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. And as always, you guys stay awesome.